Hey guys and welcome back to my channel today. Today I am doing yet another lip swatch video for you guys and this is on the new Urban Decay Matte Revolution lipsticks. These just came out I believe last month of July and you can purchase them at Ulta, Sephora, UrbanDecay.com. They retail for $22 each and there are nine shades in the whole collection and two other exclusive shades are only on UrbanDecay.com, so that's the only place where you guys can get them, I believe. I'm not entirely sure about that. But I purchased eight of the nine shades because I believe one of them was sold out, and that was Tilt. And Tilt is like a neon kind of cantaloupe color. So that is the only color that I do not have in the collection, but I have all the other colors. So let's just go ahead and get into these lip swatches. Alright, so first off before we get into the lip swatches of these matte revolution lipsticks I just want to kind of go into about the formulation of them I am wearing matte after dark on my lips right now and as you guys can see it is not very matte It still has quite a bit of a sheen to it. So do I think these lipsticks are completely matte? No I do not, but they are very creamy, very hydrating on the lips. They are very comfortable feeling. They are very pigmented. This is not like more than like one layer on my lips. I do advise to use a lip pencil with this because as you guys can see the lipstick here, it looks like that. It's kind of hard to apply it precisely. So I do think that you'll do a better job with a lip brush. I think it'd be a lot easier to apply, but I do like the formulation of these lipsticks because they are very creamy. They are very moisturizing on the lips, they're not uncomfortable, but they're not matte. So that's the only down point to these lipsticks is because they are supposed to be matte. Alright, so for the first shade I own this collection, it is the Matte Stark Nude. And this is a very warm tone nude. I think this is very complimentary nude, honestly. Look at how perfect that nude is right there. I would have to say this is one of my favorite colors in the collection. It is a very complimentary nude to any skin tone. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. So again, matte, stark, and naked is a very warm tone nude. Okay, so this next shade is known as a Matte 1993, and I think this is the perfect name for this shade because as you guys can see, it is a true 90s nude. It is a very tan nude. It definitely is a throwback to the 90s because it is a very bold, medium tan color. I definitely think this is gorgeous, and I think this is going to be a very popular color in the collection as well. All right, so for the next shade, it is called a Matte Bittersweet, and this color is a very pinky a lilac color. Look at how gorgeous. It is very cool tone. It has no warm tones in it, all cool tones, absolutely gorgeous. So it is a very pink a lilac, and it is called Bittersweet. All right, so for the next shade, it is called a Matte a Menace, and this one is a very pretty a neon fuchsia pink, as you guys can see here. This fuchsia pink has very cool tones in it. It is absolutely gorgeous, and again, it is called a Matte Menace. All right, so this next shade is the one that I am wearing right now, and it is called a Matte After Dark. And this is a very deep berry color. It's got cool tones in it. It is absolutely gorgeous. I think it is going to be perfect for fall. And also what I'm thinking is in order to kind of like help the shine to go away, you can also blot it or maybe set it with a setting powder to kind of help it become more matte. But again, this is called Matte After Dark. Okay, so for our next shade, it is Matte Temper. And this shade is, ooh, it kind of reminds me of a tomato color, but it's a very kind of pretty red coral color, like a tomato coral color. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is definitely warm tone with an orange tint to it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to rock this color, but it is definitely gorgeous. So the next shade is called a Bad Blood. Got bad blood, you know. It's called Bad Blood, and this shade is a very bold, deep red. It definitely looks like it's got some warm and cool tones in it. It is a very pretty color. It is also very opaque. All right, so for the last shade in this collection that I own, it is called Matte Blackmail. And this one is a very, oh my goodness, okay. It is definitely very dark. It's got purple tones in it. And just kind of swatching, it's it's really, it's very pigmented, very opaque, as you guys can see. It is a very dark, cool tone, blackberry color. And again, this is called Matte Blackmail. 
So those were all the lip swatches of the eight matte revolution lipsticks that I own. Remember there are nine in this collection and I have eight of them. I am missing tilt, which is a very neon kind of corally color. So I hope you guys like this lip swatch video and remember that these are not very matte, but they are very creamy. They are very hydrating on the lips and they're very pigmented. So these also retail again for $22 at any Sephora or Ulta or Urban Decay online. So I will have those all linked down below for you guys. And also if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for future videos and reviews and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!